Hi everyone, this is Lisa. Welcome back to the Graphics Fair YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very pretty fern and moth paper tag. Um, I've designed this to be used as either a junk journal tag, a gift tag, or a bookmark, and you only need to print a few images to create one of these. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you will need one copy of these gorgeous fern gift tags. This is from the premium membership site and you'll find it under the printables tab. And I printed it at 150% because I wanted a nice big tag, but you could print it at any size that you like. And then you'll need two copies of this moth card, probably one of my favorite images on the premium membership site. And that's under the images tab. You print two copies at 40%. And then you will need one copy of the Blue Labels collage sheet, which I've printed at 70%. And before I printed it, I pulled this PDF up into Photoshop Elements and I added the words Le Papillon de Nuit, which is French for moth. I think it translates directly as the butterfly of the night, which I love. Isn't that pretty? If you don't want to do that step or you don't have Photoshop elements, no worries, I'll show you another option, just print the label blank. And then for the back, you could do anything that you like, but I found this really pretty Paris card that just repeated perfectly the colors from the front. I printed out one copy of this at 70% and this is under the images tab. And then you just need a piece of white cardstock that I just traced from the tag and cut out. And then you need a little craft paper frame for the moth card. Just cut the first copy of the moth card out around the perimeter, put it down on some craft paper. And this is just some paper that I had from the inside of a shipping box. Whenever I get an online order, I save that paper. It's good for the environment to recycle it, but it's also free craft supply. So I just added about one eighth of an inch all the way around and I cut that out and that will serve as a little frame that will really help the moth card to pop off of the blue and white tag background. And then the second copy of the moth card, just fussy cut the three moths out which I've already gone ahead and done here. And then we're gonna, just gonna make a couple more cuts, which I'll show you on camera. And then um, here are your two options, either the blank label or the label with the words added. So that's everything. I think we're ready to assemble our tags. So let me go ahead and clear my workbench and I'll come right back and show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just glue the front and back papers to the cardstock base and I'm just using today some tacky glue which I like because it's, it's a pretty thick glue. All right and then you'll just want to trim up any of the white cardstock that's showing just sort of Neaten that up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna cut a little bit off of the top here so that my hole punch will fit in. It's not quite long enough to reach that hole. So I'm just gonna trim off a little bit at the top. And now I can fit my hole punch in. Make sure that's, I'm gonna turn it this way. Make sure it's lined up there nicely. And just punch your hole. Then we're going to glue the moth card down to the craft paper frame. Right. Now we can add the label and I'll show you what I did here. So I could have resized this. I want a narrower label, but instead of resizing it, all I did was I just cut a, a line 
a little bit above the words like this. That looks pretty straight. Then I cut it. And then I just put the tag back together like that and make a narrower card and you don't you don't even see it once it's glued. So let me just put some glue on here. Glue our tag back together and we'll have a, a skinny little label. Perfect. And if you, like I said, if you don't want to do those words, you could do the same thing. Just cut the blank tag, reassemble it to be thinner. And then you could just write by hand or with a fine tip marker, write the words or type the words into a word processing program, print them out and glue those to the tag. So a couple options for you there. Now we are going to cut our moths and let me make sure that you can see this. We are just going to cut the wings away from the body on both sides and make sure you don't lose any of the three pieces and we're going to do that for all three of the moths Let's see if you can see there we go keep them separate i mixed them up the first time <laughs> not good <laughs> lastly here's the little one we're gonna cut the wings off of him Okay, and then we're going to take a toothpick and we're going to use that to curve the bodies. So we're just putting the body on top of the toothpick and then squeezing it around the toothpick, which will make the little body look very realistic. And then we're going to use some foam tape and some glue. And we're going to glue these right on top of our base. So this little one is up at the top. So what I'm going to do is just put some glue on that. Try to keep that, try to keep that curve that we've created and just drop that down right on top and really try to line it up because that's going to be key to to making it look you know really good okay so you can see how that has some dimension to it now so i've just cut some of this this foam tape and Thank you to Terry of Gypsy Magpie for this tip because I used to use hot glue, which will work. You can take a hot glue gun and just make a little blob of glue and then stick your layer on top of it. But Terry gave us this tip to use this foam tape and I like this, um, I like this method too. So you just take the foam tape, cut it into little pieces and then take one side of the paper off and you're going to stick that. Um, so here is the wing. Okay. You're going to put the foam on the outer edge of the wing. And if any little, I didn't get that down very well. So there's a little bit of foam sticking out. I'm just going to trim that. So you can do that if you 
have any of that phone tape showing. Okay, then we're gonna put a little bit of glue, let's see, right here on the inside edge of the wing. And when you glue it down, start by aligning that inside edge first before you put the foam tape down. So you need to peel the top layer of the foam tape off. All right. I wanna make sure you can see this. So I'm going to put the corner with the glue first. And once I have that lined up, then I'm gonna press down the foam tape side, just like that. There are our butterflies, and now I'm gonna add a little, um, a little paper reinforcer. If you have these, this is absolutely optional, but I just thought it would look nice, so I'm gonna add that. And then you can add whatever um, ribbon you like. Um, I have this really pretty lace and ribbon. So I, I just doubled the lace up and I'm going to put this through. Okay. There it is. You could always do um, just a really pretty simple twine too, or whatever you, whatever you like. And then I have this little charm in my craft stash and I always save these little, um, this is from a piece of clothing that I bought. And a lot of times now they're putting the tags on with these little um, kind of dumbbell tags. So I save those too. And I think that would just look nice added right here. So if you like this project, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get a notification whenever we post a new video. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.